here we are, Android fans, with another Cool Loser Tech video today. Segment's gonna be in the best Android games of the week, right off the market, brought to you by me, the Cool Loser. Let's just get right to it with the best live wallpaper of the week. It's called Eastern Glow Live Wallpaper. If you have wallpaper scrolling, you'll be able to see, you can go left and right, and it moves the background a little bit more into wherever it is. But that's all it does, there's no inter interactions with it. But the positive thing about it is it's not gonna drain your battery down or use a lot of CPU, so it's a great live wallpaper. All right, let's get to the best games of the week. Office Jerk. If you're familiar with Paper Toss, this game is a Paper Toss killer. Keep note that my camera doesn't show all the color justice, so it looks a lot better on your phone. You can see here you're sitting behind a desk, and here are your items, and you can see a guy in front of you, and you are a jerk. And what you need to do, just like Paper Toss, there's a fan there, and there's your percent of the speed of what's going to be thrown. And you will throw the paper, and you got to hit them. Okay, so you can see on the left side is 1.93 speed. So let me just do right there. Hit him behind the back. I'm such a jerk. Hit him in the face. Now I got, let's see, a little bit more. Now he got red. He's not very happy. This is a little bit stronger. Ooh, he caught it. Threw it back. That's not all you can do. Let's open up your desk drawer. You have different items to throw at him. Let's throw a stapler. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Here's a better look at the color, what it shows, and let's throw the stapler at him. Oh. And you can see there he just laughed. This game is just really interactive with what you throw at him. Oh yeah, my best score is 18. Beat that. Lane Splitter. This game was really cool. Celerometer game. So you have to tilt your way and you can touch the screen. And let me just show you real quick. Let's get right into it. There's your motorcycle guy. Tilt your screen. You gotta be really careful. Let's not hit him. Oh, whoa. Imagine really driving a motorcycle. It must be really tough in real life. Seeing people do this. Yeah, yeah. So now he's speeding up. And as you go further, you can imagine how much more traffic's gonna be going on. And you can do wheelies. Touching the screen and do more wheelies. I can be careful not to hit him. Don't, if you hit him, you will fall off. Oh, barely. Alright, oh, whoa, whoa. Sweet. And you get extra points if you really uh, for a while. So what you gotta do is you see your points up there. Oh, I failed, lost, and you can just play a game. You can even post it on Facebook to share with your friends and let them know what you're playing. And let's see what they compete with your score. Asteroid Defense. And if you like those tower defense games, this is going to be another great game. One complaint I have to say about this game is as soon as you launch it, your screen will be automatically brightened up to its max, so it looks really beautiful. It's going to be all the colors there, but the only thing is that if you want to save battery, it's going to drain it a lot quicker because it, the brightness is all the way up. My camera can't pick up the white balance correctly, so it's going to be super bright. It's not going to look that good, but let's just continue the game. I'm pretty far in the level. And here we have it. Asteroids will be coming from the top end. You start only with this little icon right there. As you can see here, I'm just going to start a brand new one. So here we go. It says protect your command center. Select it to start it. You got to select it right here. Select a unit to build. So as soon as you tap it, it'll show you where area. It'll give you a four square of where you can build. And let's press that button and I can build a little machine. And I built a machine which is a gunner which now I can shoot any asteroids but I cannot shoot without having any battery which is solar let's tap there and let's create a solar tap it twice and now I have solar power now I need to build more guns let's tap that there let's build that there so now I got a little cool set and asteroids are coming you can see your timer up there descriptions here's your points Here's your money, and you can speed up the game by tapping this button right there. You can see it went there. And this will shoot automatically towards all those asteroids, and you can tap on these little icons that come in for extra points. There'll be money icons that you can tap in, and you can upgrade all these. You can sell them, and as you keep getting further in the levels, you'll notice that 
more weapons will come and you'll be able to upgrade these up to five times and they'll just keep on shooting. I got to level 21 before I stopped playing it because I need to review another game and it just got really addictive. Star Dunk. If you like basketball, you're going to love these type of games. There's nothing like really playing basketball, but it's a basketball theme and a basketball action. So it's pretty cool to play. Do you want to continue online? No, I'm not going to play against other people. But right now, I'm just going to show you. As you can see here, there's your ball. There's your score. And there's a time limit. And there is a backboard with the hoop. All right. So now we get to start. Now, what I got to do is shoot the ball inside. Nope. Didn't do good. So you got to find your... Your way into being able to play it. It might take a little while to get used to it, but there you go. Once you get it, you'll get the hang of it, and then you'll start making almost every one of them. You can see the backboards lighting up. If you lighten up all those four, you will get a special. So let's see if I can hit it. Nope. Come on, right. There you go. So now I get automatically special, and I might get extra balls like that one. And I keep shooting for a time limit. I mean, it'll, it'll disappear, so you get limited. As you can see up there in the left corner, it's about to disappear, so now I want to shoot once, and you can keep doing it as long as you hit them all four. There we go. So, what do I get this time? I just get a fireball, which goes a little bit faster, but the points are going to rack up real quick, so you got to do this as quick as you can. And once you beat the, the stage, you'll go into different areas, and you'll be able to download and get new backgrounds. It's just going to look pretty cool, and it works flawlessly. Let me just tell you something else on it. it there's extra, so you can customize the color of the ball, the background. You can do a different theme of what you want to play out, so it can look a lot better to your own taste. And burn the rope. Cool. This is a play. This game is a tilt game, but it requires some skills. It is one of those thinker puzzle games. You can see here there's different worlds. This is world one, and the world one comes with a whole bunch of different levels. Let's just do level one. Let's light it up. What you gotta see, you get a little tutorial right there on how you gotta play, and you actually will be tilting your phone all over different angles. You can pick anywhere on the rope where you want to start the fire. So let's start the fire right there. But you gotta be, just like real life, how do you light fires? You have to kind of keep up with it. You gotta go up with the fire, because if you tilt it the wrong way, the fire is not gonna be able to keep burning. So you wanna keep burning it. You gotta work your way all the way up. And there is a time limit, so the faster you do it, the more points you get. And it's just going to get harder and harder as you end up finishing it. And there we go. You go to next. And now you have two different ones. So let's do... What's the best spot? You think there? Oh, 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 oh. So you see that third one? That was not going to continue. So let's do this. And that might have not been the best way, but let's see if I can keep this one, which is pretty slow. But if I tilt this one, this one will burn. I gotta, I, I'm, I might not make it. So let's, let's. Oh, oh, nope. You see that? I just lost, just like that. It's gonna be really challenging, guys. I think it's gonna be really addictive, and I know you guys will like it. So get at it. There you go. Burn the road. Yeah. Cow Storm. Choose level. Let's do the first one. I've started from the very top, so let's just do a play. This game is a 3D puzzle. As you can see, that little guy walking around and it's counting down. That's already started. The game has started ever since the counter goes. So you can see, it's a puzzle game which you need to move. Red one means you can't move them. Just the yellow ones are the ones you can move. So you gotta get this way, this guy to go out through this way. So let's move. There we go, let's move that down, go this way, and there we have it, until we reach the very end, and you're perfect, the mission complete, 
And then you can go to the next stage, and you'll play that. Here's an Egypt stage, and just keep going around. And like I said, remember, guys, there's going to be tough situations of how to complete the level. And you'll be like, what? How do I move? How do I figure it out? I have not beat this one. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Maybe you will. But uh, you can see there, if I move this one, they all move. So what I can do is only move them up, but now if I move it down, I keep moving these, move that there, but I just I just can't because I need to get this one right there to come right here in order for me to maybe, I, I just can't figure it out. I, I stopped and just started going up for the next one. Diversion. This game was surprisingly addictive. I kept playing it and playing it, and I was like, oh, it looks kind of cheesy, but it's actually pretty cool. And let's do a play real quick. Let's go to World 1, and as you can see here, I've already played up to level 12. So let's start with 1, just so we can show you the easy way. It takes a little bit to load, but once it gets loading, it's because it's a pretty cool graphics. As you can see here, you got girl jumps, and that's tapping the screen, and you gotta keep jumping. So it's like a runner game. And you gotta collect all these diamonds that are out, and do not fall down. You can climb up. Oh, oh, ah. Oh, lucky. She climbs up all the way back up. And let's jump there. And mission is to get all you can, along with three stars. You can see the right corner. Oh, down there. That is one out of three stars I need to collect. And the stars will be positioned in weird different areas. Just missed it. No way to go back. So now I have maybe one star left to be able to get. Let's climb up there. Wow. Oh. oh, and I missed it. The third star and complete the level and I passed but I just didn't collect all the stars you can restart button there I'll go to the next stage trust me guys there's lots of different things that you can do on this it's not just jumping jumping there'll be lots of obstacles there'll be lots of spikes there'll be trampolines there'll be bombs there'll be slides oh that was a bomb and she lost, you gotta restart. Check out the background, guys. The background just looks really great. The graphics are smooth for my phone. And it just gets really addictive, guys. I, I promise you. And during along the game, as we keep going further, you'll be seeing a lot of portals. You'll be seeing those bombs do not hit them, but you can jump on top of them, get an extra boost, and the star's down there, so I missed it. Ooh. Oh, really made it. It is really fun, and you just gotta time it all right, and, uh, yeah. Get at it. Last but not least, we have Color Link. Let's jump right to it. Let's do a play, and let's just do, do the bomb. Okay, take a look right here. This is the bomb. It'll start counting down the longer you take to complete all these tiles, and there's a the level. As soon as you fill up the level bar, you complete it. There's your pause button, and you can't just move these guys. How do you move them? You got to send them to different corners and different sides. But you got to complete three, two yellows, but how do I get this yellow there? You can't do just any yellow. It must be the same shape in there. Do green, and there we go. And I'll give it a reaction there. And now I want to move this X with a orange. And there we go. You can see this is all the things. The triangle with the orange one. Got it away. I like this game. You, as you get further in, you'll be able to get the hang of it really quickly. Let's do an X for a red X. And there we go. And there you guys have it. Those are the best games of the week. Right off the market. Brought to you by me, the cool loser. Don't forget to rate. Comment and subscribe. Never forget to spread the word of what I do. Android rules. If you're wondering what this little widget is, it is called Ultimate Faves Pro. Just like favorites, but faves. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!